This is the plaintiff, Jerlene Robertson. She says she was the victim of the unscrupulous defendant who played her for money while they dated and now she wants to be paid back. That's right, the defendant sweet-talked her into loaning him money. When she stopped, he disappeared. She tracked him down, and now here they are in court. She's suing for $1,700, the total amount of the loans. This is the defendant, Floyd Scott. He says the plaintiff approached him on the street, told him she liked him, and they started dating. Right from the get-go, she was trying to impress him with money, and he feels she was trying to buy his love. She showered him with gifts, but got mad when she found out he once dated her niece. That's when all the gifts turned into loans. And now the scorned woman's suing him, but he doesn't owe her, and he thinks the judge will agree. He's accused of being a player. All parties, please raise your right hand. You see it? Come to order, please. Let against have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Jerlene Robertson, you are suing Floyd Scott, your former um, man, <laughs> for $1,700 in loans that you say you made to him that he has refused to repay you. Tell me what's going on. Yes, it's a pleasure to be in front of you. I watch you two times a day. Two times a day, two whether you need it or not. Three and five. Okay, I'm sure you watch me too, right? I'll be at work, I'm sorry. Okay, just say you but watch I me, watch. that way it's all even. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. You. And what Judge Wapner and Rusty, okay, there you I go. put that in there. Okay, Your Honor, I met- Make sure you say hello to Doug Llewellyn on the way out. Okay, yes. He's back. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, I met Mr. Scott about 2013, and he met me in, by my sister's house. Okay, he my meets you? How does he meet you? He's walking down the street? No, he was driving, <clears throat> and so we got to talking. Wait, how do you, how do you pick up a guy who's no, driving he, by on a drive-by? Okay, That's okay. impressive. He knew the house, my Oh, okay, so he house. stops to chit-chat, because yes. he knows, okay. okay. And so you, And I never knew that he was seeing my niece. He should Was he seeing your niece at the time? No, he was seeing her about two or three years ago. Oh. We, we had but I, I didn't. You and your, and the niece, niece lived together? Was a couple. No, we were a couple, we were together. Oh, did you know that was her niece? No. <clears throat> okay, so uh, are you the niece? No. Oh, okay, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so good. honor, but he should have told me when I started seeing him, because uh, I Why? Did, because he, he asked me out. Right, and then you start seeing him, and he didn't tell you. And okay, then what the, did you do when he did tell you? No, he didn't tell me. Okay, when you found out, what'd you do? Okay, when, and my niece asked me where I was going. I told her that I was going to a friend's house. She said, what friend? I said, a friend around the corner. She said, who? I said, Gary. She said, oh, no. I used to see Gary. And so, this was, by now you've been dating him how long? I wasn't really dating him. I was seeing him about What's two or three mean? months. What's seeing him mean? So, be going over, kicking it with him. Kicking it out. <laughs> hmm. Physically? Physically. Okay, so you had kicked it physically with him several <laughs> times, and then your niece tells you, hey, I dated him a few years ago, and then what do you do? And so I confronted him. I told him that why he didn't tell me he used to see my niece. Right. And so he said, well, it wasn't like that. And so I told him I couldn't see him anymore because he crossed the line. He was seeing my niece. Well, long ago, but okay, yeah. and he didn't tell you, really. Yeah, That's the kind of dishonesty. All right, so when did you decide to date him again? Okay, I wasn't dating him. I started back seeing him. Oh, you just started getting back busy again. Seeing. All right, so fast forward, how long do you two see each other after you get back again? Okay, about two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yes. Okay, and then what happens? Because he, and then he had a plan. I guess he was milking me from the first time that I had a business. Okay, and so I was getting, I was, it was good. And so. It was what? It was good. The Lucrative, you were making money. Okay. Yes, I was making and, money. And what, you couldn't let go of it fast enough to give it to him? Okay, that's what it seems like. Okay, but, but that's, he, he was fault asking, is that? Like, what it, were you doing? Okay, he was asking me a little at a time, a little at a time. And so, I, when he got to the $1,000, uh, and then he wanted some more. And I told him, whatever he borrowed from me, the, 
after the thousand, it's going to be a loan. He said, okay, I'll give it to you when my income tax come. Wow, couldn't, I should have thought about that. So the thousand's not a loan. The thousand wasn't a loan. Thousand but was, now you want that back too. Yeah, I, I want amendment for that because he was using me. I didn't know it at the time. But no one can use you without you letting it happen. No, I let it happen. About? You're talking about how you showered money on him. Yes. And he didn't want to be with you anymore. Therefore, the, the money you showered on him, you want back. That how was is that after, ever going to happen after, in a court of law? It was after, after I found out that. He that was what? According me. to you, you guys saw each other for two and a half years. It's not like, you know, it was all some, you know, that he extracted all that money from you in 24 hours. Well, not that I would find that to be that <laughs> different. But, you know, you're talking about having seen, you got yours for two and a half years. <laughs> yeah, let me hear from you. When I met her, I didn't know that. I thought she was just a friend of the family. I didn't know that was her niece. When she started asking for the money back with me and the niece that I was going with before, start talking. Oh, now you're talking to Tina. She wanted her money back. Oh, but and I thought she went back okay. with you for two and a half years no, listen, between listen. one thing okay. and the other. Okay, but what happened, what really happened? Yeah. Denise Tina had messed with her boyfriend. She was getting back at Tina. That's why she was on me. She didn't tell you that part. Well, you're the guy who stopped the car. No, no. And no. we're chit chatting no, no. and asked her out. I didn't out. stop the car. I was at the house. I wasn't oh. driving down the street and just stopped. Okay, but you asked she her out. She saw me over the house. Yeah, but I took her out. Because I'm in. thinking, yeah, because okay. I'm thinking that's just a friend of the family. I didn't know that was and her. And according auntie. to you, she was deliberately trying to get back at your niece? She was trying to get back her at her niece because her, her niece had dated her boyfriend. I didn't know all that. She told me that herself. <laughs> Did your niece date your boyfriend? Which boyfriend was that? Her husband, boyfriend, but oh, that's Did your niece date any of your husband's boyfriends? It, none of my husband's boyfriends. No, listen, husband's or boyfriends. She told me <laughs> that. I'm telling you what happened. And yeah. let's loan the money, the robes, the house shoes, the expensive cologne. I still got stuff I haven't even wore. She bought me. Okay, and uh, those were gifts. <laughs> yes. Now, but there, you, you you agree that there was a time when you, what you asked her for, you knew you had to pay back. That there was some amount of money that you were supposed to she pay back. She told me for a at a certain ticket? part. Yeah, yeah, that was a yeah. speeding ticket. No, it wasn't a park. It was a speeding <laughs> ticket. I was in my race car and got a ticket. But judge, uh, I have t it's seven hundred dollars. Oh, Why nine, seven? It's no. It went to Wait, 17. Stop, stop. stop. No. Okay. Judge, okay, after, if you read these texts, okay. he said that he's going to pay me back the money. The $700, if I couldn't get the 1000 1700 amendment, I would settle for the 700 Oh, I'm That's, sure you would. But okay. I don't know that I'm Why not okay. go for the gusto? Okay. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, Let me sorry. see the text. Okay, okay. Do you have it in okay. your actual phone? I have it in my yeah, phone. Yeah, I like it in your phone. Okay. I don't like seeing okay. it on paper okay. because people could put whatever they want on the paper. You ought to see mine. Last okay. night. Yeah, let's see yours. Pull, pull out your phone. <laughs> What's your name? Okay. Mine's yeah. Letha. Yeah. I don't think you're going to like what happens next year. I've got this feeling. I have a feeling. Because, you know, usually, I tell my kids all the time, say it, forget it, write it, regret it. But it is fascinating to me when I see full-grown adults. How old are you? I'm 60. How old are you? Mm. All right. Uh, so, uh, full-grown adults, you know, not realizing what. They can hand over the phone. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's see, let's see. I would have felt better giving my money to a young man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, that's food for thought for the next time. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. Do you have any... Uh, in one of your texts, you say to him that you want to know when he's going to pay you your 700 Yes. This was your 700 700 I how they get to 17 This is the one she sent me last night. Okay. I want to know when you're going to send me some money, she says, or you will see the next level. You text back, as soon as I get some, and stop texting my phone. Is that a threat? She says, take it the way you want to take it. I want my money. To which you respond, you keep talking about the next level. I hope you're talking about it on an elevator. <laughs> what did that mean? That it wasn't no threat like, you know, a bodily harm threat or something like that. So I just played it off with her. That's all. Then she texts you, you have money to take a to dinner, but you can't pay me any of my money. You got another thing coming. What's that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> she must have. Do you, have, do you uh, operate on social media and show pictures of things? No. Uh, were you with oh, her yeah, and me Chris? and her show pictures back and forth and things. But of other women? 
Like no. maybe you post it. When do you text him? When the man doesn't answer you, then you then you mention the money again, and then he answers you. When he didn't answer. Tell me why you on January 16th you text him. Tell me why you don't answer my text when I text you good morning. Do you have someone living with you? That's why you can't. I didn't think that a woman would stop. You said hi. I am a friend, right? Yes. I just want to let him know that it you, you know uh, he can talk to me. Uh, if he have uh, someone stand with them, um, I yeah, was being nothing's cordial. off the table for you, is it? it, it I was being cordial, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> That's bad. Huh? Yeah, it's it's so bad I can't even. It's <laughs> it, the se the the degree of sexting between you two would put teenagers to shame. <laughs> Yeah. And, and, and it's just, you know, it, there's no relationship really going on. It's just the sexting and, and the occasional <laughs> booty call. All right, then. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. If you um, want to be in a relationship with somebody and they're not necessarily into you enough, can you win them over by buying them gifts? Absolutely not. <laughs> but people do that sometimes. Yeah, people do, but I wouldn't. What do you say? I feel like you could. You're going to keep them around for a little bit, and then they're kind of try and get you to buy them more stuff. You've done this right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, just a little bit. What do you say? I think it's not considering their feelings. I think, no, you can't buy someone. You can't buy someone. That is a good takeaway. We're going inside the courtroom. All of his texts to you are disgusting, you know, all the graphic, him. sexual. Yeah. Yeah. They're all, I mean, it's disgusting to me, not... I'm sure not to you guys. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they're just they're they're base and they're there's no romance. And I think you wanted romance. Why don't you hold out for what you want? You're look you're shopping in the wrong stores. I know. You I know, know that, right? I know. I'm shopping. You should, like, I'm shopping at no, a secondhand store. You're sh no, 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 no. But you're just you're shopping, and it's not your style. Okay. Like it's it's not. I'm not judging whether he's secondhand or anything else. The man is super honest from the beginning. He t he basically treats you like a booty call, which I'm not necessarily. I guess I'm saying it's a bad thing. I should, but I'm, I'm saying if, if that's what you both want, that's great. But if you want something more, then you're shopping in the wrong style store. Yes. You know, you got style. You got your thing you want. Well, then hold out for it. You know, hold out for it because because this isn't going to make you happy, really. I'm not, you know, judging morality. I'm just telling you that this isn't going to make you happy. I know. I can tell because I'm reading. At, I'm reading your text and I'm seeing what you want and what you want. You're not going to find here. So what do you think put her over the edge, the fact that you were telling people your business about the money and that you were defending yourself and saying, I don't know her that money. She, was, she wanted to shower me with gifts. Probably that could have been it, but then it wasn't And then why are you texting back, so the, the gift of 700 how to get to 1700 Why aren't you saying, so the gift of uh, 400, 400. Or why, 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 what, what is it you're saying when you say, so they gift of 700 how to get to 1700 What did that mean? Because and then she, she says, do you want some company tonight? I think because I was just up saying above, that, Johnny. You were up. just saying that? Yeah, you I'm, texted I'm him last night and said, do you want some company? Yeah, some, I was hmm. just seeing where his head was at. On my pillow. But I, <laughs> but I, I lost my it on phone her pillow. in the driver's car. So what, what, how did it go from 700 to... Uh, 17. To seven, well, I know how it went from 700 okay. to 17. But how did it go from 400 to 7? Because in the only time that money is ever mentioned in text, the amount is 700. What was the other 300? I don't know. Okay, but you, but you don't, you never in a text back say to her, what do you mean 700? She mentioned 700 repeatedly. I mean, even you say here 700. Because it was in the text earlier that she well, put it in. Well, do you I know what part was loan and what part was gift? I agree with you. The thousand I don't know, because she gift. said this was a gift, this was a loan. She kept right. saying, I don't know I'm what I'm ordering you what. to pay her back $700. Next time, why don't you be a little more careful about who okay. you didn't let into your heart, your wallet, and your body. Okay? You Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the plaintiff prevails, but not what she was seeking, at least not the full amount. Here comes Mr. Scott out of the courtroom. I got to ask you, are you a little embarrassed to have the judge reading all that on your telephone? No, it's okay. Really? I'm not embarrassed. Well, good for you. All right. Sounds like you're kind of a wild couple. 
No, we're not a couple. We're just friends. Friend, uh, well, while well, trying to date for that? a minute and didn't didn't work out, and right. her niece told her I was trying to talk back to her, so it went haywire. So, all right. well, you got to give her seven hundred back. You no, all right with that? No problem. All, all right. right, thank you very much, all Officer right. McIntosh is waiting for you. Now here comes Ms. Robertson out of the courtroom. Ms. Robertson, I got to tell you, from what I've heard, what's on your telephone, you sound like a wild woman. Are you? Oh, gosh, no, I'm not. You're not. I, I was just a person to help someone. All right. Well, you know, the judge made reference to sound like you were a delivery booty call for him. Yes, yes, it, w it was. He it was. was. A, and he was a booty call for me, too. Oh, it, it, it worked both All ways. Right. Listen, I have to ask you something. You, you talk about how many times you watched the People's Court through the years. You even referenced Judge Wapner and Rusty, who are yes, right there yes, watching yes, us. Yes, yes, What's it like for you to be on trial here? Okay, I'm ecstatic because I watched Judge Wapner and yep. Rusty for years. I grew up with them. Yep. Oh, God, telling my age. Oh, well, that's all right. Listen, I was there, too, okay? <laughs> I remember you, too. Okay, good enough. Thank you very much. Are you satisfied with the outcome? I'm, I'm Still going to kick it with him, or is it over? No, it's over. It's no, a... no more booty calls. No more booty calls. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Harvey, your turn. Okay, no, Doug, uh, this gentleman here is 100% right. We have had so many of these cases in people's court over the years. You cannot buy someone's love. It does not work. Now we'll do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.